गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल सर अब्दुल सत्तार खान ट्वेल्थ इंग्लिश 2.2 पॉइंट टू इंडियन वीवर्स ब्रेन स्टॉर्मिंग एक्टिविटीज एंड क्वेश्चन आंसर लेट्स बिगेन 2.2 पॉइंट टू इंडियन वीवर्स ट्वेल्थ इंग्लिश स्टेट बोर्ड क्वेश्चन आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन का ए वन है डिस्कस विथ योर पार्टनर अबाउट द फॉलोइंग वेकेशंस वीविंग टेलरिंग निटिंग एम्ब्रॉयडरिंग डिस्कस द वेरियस प्रोडक्ट्स मेड बाय द वीवर्स इन द पोएम second the words in the three stanzas of the poem mention different times of a day complete the table first ka answer hai weaving weaving means uske points hai india has a rich heritage of weaving handloom weaving the second most widespread occupation next to agriculture each region of india has its typical yarn style and fabric india is tropical people like to wear cotton silks from different regions of india are prized by women worldwide b tailoring points a tailor can make someone a star with style and fitting can have a own machines and stitch clothes according to client's needs could be under a designer creating high fashion garments could be under a fashion house label working at computerized machines they create the trending fashions worldwide knitting Knitting is weave, is weaving with two needles with woolen yarn. Many women are skilled. Many women are skilled women in in cold regions do knitting to make warm clothes for the family. Knitting is done on machines too. Embroidering embroidery needs skillful fingers and patience. From hankies to wall hangings are labor laboriously made with silk threads and tiny needles. Many other beautiful things like table clothes, dress colors. sari edges bed covers and cushion sleeves machine embroidery also in this turn discuss the various products made by the weavers in the poem the poet asks the weavers what they are weaving at daybreak it is a brightly colored cloth and she asks the reason the weavers reply that the ropes in the gay color of the wild kingfisher are for of newborn the poet next asks the weavers at dusk for what they are weaving that bright cloth The purple and green shaded fabric is for a queen's wedding veil. Reply the weavers. The poet asks what they are making in the chill night in the moonlight. The weavers are weaving a cloth as white as a feather, as a cloud. They say they are weaving a shroud for a dead man's funeral. Time of the day words phrases weaver weavers work. Early morning break of day weavers weave robes for the newborn child. late in the evening fall of night weavers weave a wedding veil for a queen night moonlight chill weavers weave a shroud for a dead man's funeral the poem reveals three phases of life fill in the blanks with the feeling and colors appropriate to the phase of life one is done for you color blue newborn childhood feeling hopes and expectations complete the weavers weave in the chill moonlight pick out two words used to describe the weavers in the last stanza also state their importance newborn child color blue youth adulthood pick up colors of purple green old age death white as a feather or shroud feeling hopes and expectations expectations responsibilities romance energy friendliness peace wisdom complete the sentence the weavers weave in the chill moonlight the weavers weave in the chill moonlight a cloth as white as a feather as a cloud a shroud for a dead man's funeral pick out two words used to describe the weavers in the last stanza solemn and still are the two words used in the last stanza to describe the weavers the words describe the occasion for which the craftsmen are working a shroud is being woven for a funeral the worker's mood is also serious and unsmiling because of the occasion express your views about the present condition of rivers describe in your own words the steps or measures that can be taken to solve the problems of the weavers express your own views and opinions from the weavers point of view and complete the following table first stanza second and third pick out the rhyming words from the poem Weave, weaving has existed for thousands of years in india it was second only to agriculture the weaves and fabrics from various regions were known around the world from the bengali muslin to kashmiri banarsi and kanchivaram silk the cloth from india was renowned for the quality and fineness the designs and richness industrialization then brought problems for them 
पावर लूम्स आर फास्टर एंड मैन्युफैक्चर लार्ज क्वांटिटीज इन शॉर्ट टाइम फैशन हाउसेज बाय फैब्रिक फ्रॉम द वीवर्स पुट द लेबल्स इन सेल ऑफ द क्लोथ एट अ वेरी हाई प्राइस कंपेयर टू द प्राइस पेड टू द क्राफ्ट मैन द क्राफ्ट मैन रिमेन अन नोन दैर क्राफ्ट अंडर वैल्यूड एंड दैर लाइफ इज इन पावर्टी एंशियन स्किल्स आर लास्ट एंड सम टेक लोन्स टू सम हाउ स्ट्रगल वैन डेप्स आर टू मच दे कमिट सुसाइड मास्टर व्यूवर सेंड अवे सन्स टू सिटीज टू टेक अप जॉब्स दे डू नॉट वॉन्ट द सन्स टू स्ट्रगल पेरेंट्स विल नॉट ओनली नॉट गिव गर्ल्स इन मैरिज टू व्यूवर्स दे लैक फैसिलिटीज लाइक लाइटिंग एंड वाटर सप्लाई दो द गवर्नमेंट हैज गिवन सब्सिडीज फॉर व्यूवर्स मोस्ट ऑफ इट इट इज लॉस टू ब्राइब्स एंड द व्यूवर्स रिसीव नेग्लिजिबल सम्स steps and measures taken to solve the problems of weavers weavers are unorganized buyers offer a very low price and if one weaver refuses they go to another weaver so the prices are at lowest the government allocate crores of our handloom promotion council but the weavers get nothing weavers organization can help the situation the weavers are forced to sell their creations to designers at low rates no one helps to update weavers of the last fashion trends also their creations are not commercially advertised handloom industry is eco friendly in every day every way it should be promoted by the government designers and supported by the public subsidies for buying yarn and dyes should be given to the craftsmen clean water and proper lighting facilities are needed for the craftsmen some designers and activists for the weaver communities have begun working for the upliftment of the community and marketing the product the buyer can only can buy directly from the weavers and cut out corrupt middleman exhibitions for selling wares to the public will bring the craftsman and buyer closer first stanza rose for a newborn child the weavers feel happy because they are enthusiastic to view the bright blue robes for the newborn Second stands a purple green veil for the wedding of a queen the viewers are joyous to dress the royalty on the happiest and most important day of her life third stands a shroud for the funeral of a dead man the viewers are solemn and quiet as the cycle has closed for a person and it is true for everyone rhyming word first stands a day gay wild child second stands a night bright green queen third stands a still chill clue cloud shroud give antonyms and synonyms of the following and make sentences of your own new antonym old synonym fresh everyone must grow old we begin every morning with fresh life bright antonym dull synonym shining one feels dull without a shower after leaving bed children look at shining things with bright and curious eyes dead antonym alive synonym lifeless The last time we met the he brought the room alive with laughter and cheer the child were my mal nourished and their eyes were lifeless still antonym lively synonym unmoving the crowd was lively and cheering the players the lake was covered with oil and lay dirty and unmoving while antonym civilized synonym untamed after many years of instruction they finally changed him to into a civilized city dweller do we think of elephants as gentle giants and tamed ones are dangerous fall antonym rise synonym drop the rise of the new star of indian tennis is stunning when prices rise suddenly everyone hope it will drop soon child antonym adult synonym young one an adult has a fully developed immune system till about 60 years of age Young ones are innocent till they start imitating grown ups. Make a word register for clothes, attire, dress. Figures of speech, simile, imagery, metaphor, alliteration. The rhyme scheme is the in the first stanza A B A B. Find rhyme scheme in the second and third stanzas. Word registers: garment, tux, outfit, wardrobe, raiment, apparel, get up, gear. Figures of speech, simile. blue as the wing of halcyon wild like the plumes of peacock purple and green white as a feather and white as a cloud imagery break of day gay blue newborn child fall fall of night green purple royal marriage and family marriage wheel solomon and still 
moonlight in the night chillness of death gloom and colorless cold white better for break of day day is born a newborn child for first stage of life fall of night to light romantic half life beginning of wedded bliss for second stage of life marriage wheels 10th chill indicating death moon indicating night and darkness for the last stage of life alliteration each line of a poem has the w in the words we weave why we were wild wing what white the words we we were weave why occur in each stanza multiple times adding to the musical quality of the poem the rhyme scheme the rhyme scheme in the second stanza is a a b b the rhyme scheme for the third stanza is a a b b the poet has asked a question at the beginning of every stanza explain the effect it creates on the reader write an appreciation of the poem compose four lines on importance of clothes write an apparel to use handloom products in our daily life visit a handloom factory near your locality and write a report of it a handicraft exhibition is being organized in your college you are given the task to compare the inaugural function write the script for comparing Each stanza of the poem begins with a question to the weaver. The first is at dawn as the poet asks why they are working so clear early. The second question asks why they make the bright colored garment at dusk. The third stanza begins asking them why they are working to so late in the cold darkness. In the question the reader knows about the time of day, the color of the cloth. The reply gives information about the purposes of the new cloth and why what that color is chosen. The poem is like a conversation between the poet and the craftsman. It conveys the metaphor using time of day and stage of life. The color and cloth suited for that stage, the mood of the weavers matches the time and purpose of their work. The poem thus flows easily. The poet Sarojini Naidu Naidu poem Indian Weaver tells about the work of Indian famous handloom craftsman. The three stanzas mark the three stages of its life. The weavers reply to question about why they are weaving that particular piece of cloth of a certain color at that time of day. The theme is cycle of life. The weavers use colors associated with birth, marriage and death. This is the appreciation of the poem. Through weaving cloth for a newborn, a queen, bride and a dead man, three stanzas of four lines each in the form of questions and answers. The conversational tone gives a flow like life. one stage moving into the next the poem is a metaphor for the cycle of life new life dawn marriage dusk and dead death night simile simile compares the wo- woven garment to objects in colors apt for that stage of life the sound of w occurs a total of 20 times at least once in all lines except one this alliteration gives a musical quality The poem is dedicated to the talented weavers and the fabrics of India which were world famous. It shows the hard work of craftsmen and how we use their products in every occasion of our life. This poem is a beautiful way of the poet to salute the weavers of India. I find that the weavers are not only skillful but also talented. They combine colors and create patterns that are eye-catching. they know which colors are apt for occasions the poet brings out their talent as well their hard working nature compose four lines the attire indicates the man he is his coat brings him confidence and products too the color indicates her mood and occasion the weaver makes the christening wedding and celebration an appeal threads the handloom research and development society maharashtra is proud to present to you the wonderful creation of threads for the first time the weaves come directly from the craftsman to you the customer the range of products include pure silk silk cotton cotton linen jute come and see appreciate the skills and support the craftsman who practice our ancient art there are wedding sarees and punjabi suits in pure silk casual wear in all the materials bed linen towels door mats carpets hand towels handkerchiefs scarves to suit every budget come support our artisans and appreciate the fine quality of our finest indian weavers come support us you will love our indian fabrics we need your support contact in charge mrs das 
नाइन नाइन वन टू थ्री डैश डैश ई मेल मिसिस दास अबाउट डैश डैश विजिट आइनम फैक्ट्री नियर योर लोकैलिटी एंड राइट अ रिपोर्ट ऑफ एट वीवर्स ऑफ ड्रीम बाय टीम ए एस वाई जे सी कम ट्वेंटी फाइव टू टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी द एस वाई जे सी स्टूडेंट ऑफ द एस जूनियर कॉलेज वेंट ऑन educational tour to moinabad moinbad village to take tour of the handloom factory there the students weaved many of the process involved in the weaving of a sari the students were taken on a guided tour by a local who is family member of one of the weaver households of the village in the first stage the bundles of white yarn were strung on iron frames The frames held by two men were dipped into hot iron vats of boiling dye. The yarn is dipped several times thoroughly, drenched for the color to coat the yarn evenly. After several minutes, the men transfer each bundle onto short, thick wooden rods. They twist the sticks to bring the bundle dry. A third man takes the hot bundle on another stick and lays the bundle to dry. The next stage, the students saw was. Colored yarn stretched on frames several meters long. This was outside in the open. The guide told us it was for a sari. It was a blue yarn in the middle with purple yarn on both sides lengthwise. For borders, each yarn is stretched. The number of threads for each color counted. There were long buildings which are the workshops. Here are frames, looms, and the weavers seated before each loom. Each weaver was working on a sari. The guide told us that one sari averagely takes four for four to seven days. If the design is complicated and in different colors, it takes longer. The finished products are folded and packaged for the for the market. The tour ended with the students speaking to the weavers at the looms and craftsmen dyeing the yarn. The craftsman spoke to the visitors giving interesting details about the popular color combinations. They told us about auspicious colors for special occasions. The artisans also spoke about a different place where traditional nine yard long are woven. Those are almostly those are mostly for weddings. The students took photographs of the various processes and the artisans happily posed for them. handicraft exhibition Intro- introduction a very good evening and warm welcome to all this is for a very special kind of occasion we have gathered here this morning we want to bring the spotlight on that section of our nation citizenry who are carrying thousands of years of our heritage on their shoulders no in their skillful fingers yes our very talented craftsmen we have our craftsmen with their various talents to show us to showcase their beautiful creations we have the weavers of the rich patani silk the warli painters the makers of the famous kolhapur leather footwear the intricate bidri beswear brassware the dhurri weavers banjara embroidery all these from maharashtra we have men and women with magic in their hands from other states too crafts and naka from distant meghalaya and nagaland from neighboring gujarat we have the makers of the amazing kashmiri embroidery to the wooden toy makers from andhra and so any more welcome speech our respected principal sri harsh nayak our beloved teachers staff and all my friends join in join me in welcoming the honorable chief guest the textile minister shrimati mandakini gadge to this exciting and colorful program a very warm welcome to you madam it is a great pleasure and an honor to have you here and a warm welcome to all the parents and the guests inaugural ceremony lighting of the lamp i request our chief guest shrimati mandakini gadge and our principal to kindly come to the dais we request you to do light the ceremonial lamp in the traditional indian way to de- declare the exhibition open prayer song and now kindly take your seats for a short program before we go around weaving the exhibition music is such a positive influence so start on a note of gratitude we have the prayer song by the stars of our music club nandini sonia bhaskar jay and kavita manjit is accompanying them on the violin welcome program thank you for that lovely song to begin 
the program may my friends now form for a unique performance we have a fashion show it is unique because the students of our college and our and our participating craftsmen guests work together for the last few decades this is the first a uh, big round of applause for our models on the catwalk six concluding remarks thank you for your encouragement wasn't that wonderful you may have noticed for yourself but let me clarify the stylish sarees salwar suits elegant kurtas those shawls the stunning neck pieces the baskets on the ladies arms the wooden screens in the backdrop the lamp shades on the stage the carpet on the catwalk and all the decor you can see on the stage are all creations of the masters who are displaying their creations in the exhibition you now have an idea of what is in store for dressing stylishly or doing up your home elegantly that was only starters the main course is still waiting for you and there is dessert as well i now request our chief guest shrimati gadge to address the audience thank you for those words of praise and appreciation of the craftsmen madam they richly deserve them this is the first time a college is hosting such an exhibition we welcome you all to go around and view the stunning collection of handy craft products ummeed hai aapko hamara video pasand aaya hoga agle video mein dobara mulaqat hogi khuda hafiz